Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Disc Golf Network's production of the Open at Tallahassee. We have MPO lead card coverage of the round two front nine. My name is Thomas Gilbert, and today I have Kevin Kiefer joining me. Kevin, what's up? Hey, guys. Thanks for, thanks for having me, Thomas. Happy to be here. Yeah, it's a really exciting coverage, a really exciting day. We have a pretty unique lead card here. Uh, tell us something about these players, Kevin. Well, we got Albert Tame coming in hot with a neg 11. And that to get a, not only to get 12 birdies out here, but to keep it clean and mm -hmm. get only one bogey, that is, that's incredible. And then coming next, we have Alex Russell um, at a seven down, tied with Gavin Babcock. And then Matty O sneaking on that lead card with a neg five. All pretty, pretty hot scores. Definitely, yeah. I'm interested to see how they play today. We have a little bit different conditions, but still pretty scorable. Uh, it's really just going to be dealing with the win. So here we go, we have hole one, hole one break it down. 355 feet, um, pretty treacherous. Um, OB long, OB right, and uh, OB left if you uh, really pull a shot. Um, players are probably gonna be looking to play that left to right wind. Um, so sidearm is favorable here. Just keep it in bounds as long as possible. And yeah. Yeah, no hole one, definitely. Those are good things to keep in mind. Uh, these guys are going to want to get a birdie here. So first couple ado, holes are an easier stretch. Yeah, for Your sure. tournament leader at 11 under par after yesterday's round one. All the way from Tartuma, Estonia. Let's put our hands together for Albert Tam. And really cool to see we have actually the mayor of Tallahassee introducing the players here. All right, and first up on the box is Albert Tam looking like he's going with a pioneer forehand. As you can see, it's it's pretty gusty. Mm -hmm. He's going to want to keep this nice and low to try to keep out of that wind and then try to get a little skip to the basket. Wow. That's great. Yeah, playing that perfectly. No. Oh. No. Oh, what? Unfortunate result there. Just a little too fast. Caught a little too many skips, I think, on that Give green. But Alex Russell. He should be okay, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah that's, that's he's inside right there. circle. Yeah. And then Alex Russell, also a really strong forehand dominant player out of uh, Washington. Really excited to see how he plays today. Get down. Oh, that's fine. Go. Yeah, that's that's gonna be right there. Mm -hmm. um, Catches a little bit of cabbage there. Um, just Mr. heading, uh, trying to keep under that low ceiling, but yeah, stays in bounds. And really, that's that's the only mistake you can't make on this hole is finding it out of bounds early, and really having to scramble for a bogey. Yeah. And here we have Gavin Babcock, a newer player on tour, uh, really starting to kind of find his own, and he's also a great forehand player, has great snap. Keeping this a little bit wider, which is going to let it skip in, and yeah, good result. Yeah, finds its way into circle one. I have a Last pretty good a tail least, put right there. Two -time champion win. of the Open at Tallahassee from Creole, Alabama. Let's welcome to the first team, Mr. Matthew. The man that doesn't re really need any introduction, Matty O. Uh, it's kind of cool to see uh, him doing well with the new uh, company, Westside. I'm um, very interested to watch his bag. See yeah. what he throws, what shots he's taken. Absolutely, yeah. True veteran of the game. Has tons of experience. Probably more experience than almost everyone else on this card. And going with the backhand here. Hanging out a little bit wide. This got to swing back in. That's great. Yeah, wow. Great touch there by Matteo. Really, really well played. He's loving it. A Russ is up first, 60 footer. I wonder if you're giving it a conservative bid or giving it a full run. Oh, oh wow. Well, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, what a putt on hole one. But Alex Russell is showing no nerves whatsoever. Dang. A really impressive start. And if he, if he airballs that, it's OB. Like, yeah. No, the OB no doubt. is directly behind the basket. So that is, uh, that's sick. Yeah, I would say this is a nervy putt. Yeah. And this is half the distance. Yeah. Oh. Sneaks it in there. Yeah. Very well done. 
It's always good to hit that first putt like that, you know? Yeah, you can see Gavin there with a nice little side relief. Always good to get that kind of medium distance putt on hole one. Kind of settles you down a little bit. Absolutely. Oh, no. Mm. A little uncharacteristic there from Albert just getting the nose down there on his putt, but he'll be losing two strokes the entire card right off the bat. Dang. It's got to be definitely a testy on his nerves. Cleans up bogey. Mm. She's going to move on. Yeah, hole one played as one of the more difficult holes today. Played 0.21 over par, probably just because that really close OB to the basket. And what a nice putt by Alex Russell there. Yeah, that's a sick highlight. Off the rip. <laughs> yeah. So three birdies and one bogey for the card. That's honestly really good score. The unfortunate bogey by Albert, but I'm sure he'll recover well. What do we got for hole two? Hole two, fairly technical shot, 335. Um, you're looking to just kind of... There's two routes here. You can go the sidearm stand-up route on the left side with a little bit of hyzer, or you can go the backhand with like mid-range putter. That's more going to be like a flat to hyzer in. You, this gap that the drone is flying through right now is the biggest gap on this hole, and uh, just kind of depends on what you prefer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Definitely, uh, you'll see players maybe go with uh, flex play as well, just to try to make that initial gap a little bit wider. See Alex here. Trying to keep on a little bit of Anheuser out of the hand, and then, oh yeah, I get sneaky through oh, the last couple of trees. Oh yeah, That's yeah. Great. Be only maybe twenty-two feet from the basket. Great shot. Mm, Gavin, you can see wanted to put some more flex on that, but didn't quite get it to over. He's going to be a little bit short left on this hole. Yeah. You played with Matty O'Bunch. How do you how do you think of his style? I think it's awesome. I, I, a lot of uh, a lot of Anheuser throws. I feel mm -hmm. he likes to really flex the disc, um, and just kind of an amazing putter. I feel like that's his strong suit. He just if he can see the basket and he's inside of sixty feet, it's probably going in. Yeah, I agree. Albert getting sneaky there, and yeah. all the way up into circle one. It's a great shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great result there by Albert. He'll have a nice birdie putt after to try to redeem himself after hole one. That's fine. Yeah, just playing the smart pitch out there. Really all you can do. Yeah. Here's Matty O. Oh, and just like you said, giving it a run from right around 66 feet. Just out, just in or outside circle two. Albert's looking at a... 25 footer here yeah yeah much better definitely gonna get the confidence up there on that putt that was dead center in the heart right where you want to hit it that was a great bounce back too hey russ keeping it going two yeah for two. two for two that's a great start now these guys matteo and uh, gavin just have some uh cleaning up to do Mm -hmm. Light work for uh, players of their caliber. Yeah, it's nice to see as well. You can see in the background we have a bit of a gallery. Uh, it was definitely exciting to watch and hear some of the, the live spectators that we had out at the event. There we go. I think I, I really like the extension there by Albert. I think that's when you can tell that his putt is on is when he has that full extension at the end of his putt. Hey, Russ. Perfect so far. Yeah, two down through two. Two birdies and two pars for our lead card. And here we are on hole three. It's a short shot, 275 feet. There's this little tiny OB uh, road just in front, but that shouldn't come into play for any of our players. You're really just trying to uh, hit this gap, either turn a shot into it or flip something up and ride straight. A um, little bit of a slope up to the basket, so trying to just hit that and kind of filter in is the best play. Probably putter mid-range depending on uh, the favorable disc choice by the players. And that gap is right at the face of that gap is 30 feet. So it's very manageable if you just get to that gap. Mm -hmm. Alex looks like he's going to be looking at it, but he's 
just just left of it, so hopefully he's not pinched. Mm -hmm. Albert hits That's the gap. Perfect. Yeah, perfectly. Perfect. Slides right up into like around 20, 20 feet. Gavin going sidearm here. Yeah, I like this play for him. I know he he's a sidearm dominant player. Feels oh, yeah. a little bit better hitting that gap, looking straight at it with the sidearm. And he, he did it. <laughs> yeah, did a great job. Oh, oh wow. my goodness. Perfect. Yeah, really well done there. Throwing a slightly faster disc, but just using that and throwing it low, pushing it through the gap and really getting it up there. Alex looking determined. Ooh, three for three to start. That's that's great. These first three are gettable, but you, you kind of just want to pick up one or two and not take any bogeys. And Alex got all three, and that's pretty sick. Yeah, that's definitely going to make him feel a lot more comfortable going to the round as well, just knowing you had those early pickups. Yeah. Kind of takes a little bit of pressure off some of the harder holes that are going to come up soon. Gavin making light work of it too. Yeah, great putt, great drive. I think we might see a star frame on this whole Kev. Don't speak too soon. Don't jinx it. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. Albert cleaning up there and Matteo with another 20 footer left. So hopefully we'll see a nice star frame on hole three. Yeah. Cash money. Yeah, this is definitely, I would say, the easiest hole in the course. Um, one that you really want to pick up. It played uh, 0.25 under par and I believe was the easiest hole on the day. So no surprise here to see a star frame from our lead card. Alex Russell, two back of uh, Albert, Gavin, uh, three back, and Matteo also right there. And moving on to hole four, uh, this is a really difficult hole, has about maybe 380 feet of water carry, and you have to carry this water to be in bounds. Um, this little path that you see, this walking path is in bounds, and uh, really you want to take a distance driver and try to flex it towards this green, um, but really crucial crucial thing is to get in bounds off the tee. Yeah, I'm interested to see the wind that these guys are playing in. Uh, this hole is incredibly hard with a tail or or a headwind. Looks like they have a headwind. Alex going sidearm. Yeah, this is a smart play. Just just trying to get over the water, not really even trying to get near the pin. And he also bails out a little bit early right, which does open up a little bit sooner. Yeah. Albert going with the backhand. Looks like he's throwing a Ballista Pro. Yeah, yeah, I believe that's one of his signature Ballista Pros. This is this is so good. Wow. That is an amazing shot. Getting pin high on this basket is a difficult feat and done really, really well. It's hard to control that angle and that cross headwind. Gavin going the sidearm. 56 miles an hour. Inbounds. Smart play. Mm-hmm. You're not you're not losing strokes on this one if you're getting it inbounds, but uh, when you're trying to chase down Albert, it's interesting to see him just kind of stick to his game plan. Yeah, for sure. Maddie leaving a little high, but this has got to got to push. He's oh in. yeah, inbounds. Nice shot. Looks like he has just a little pitch up sidearm here. Oh, and yeah. And in, in the bullseye. Yeah, really well done. You know what he was throwing there? Uh, I'm going to say that's probably one of his, like, A2s. Okay. Alex leaving a little uh, meat in the bone there. Yeah, just gets that flipped up a little bit too much. Carries a little far, but that should be within range for Alex. Adios, see if he can give it a run. Ooh. Oh, man, just a little bit short, but right on line. Albert for a amazing two. 
Yeah. Wow. Dead center. What a two on this hole. Really not too many twos on the day. This was the hardest hole on the course playing 0.67 over par. Wow. Let's see who else got the birdie today. Just Peter Lund and Albert Tam. The Europeans got something right going on over there. And Alex with oh. a miss putt. Yeah, that's going to cost him a little bit, especially with the leader uh, getting that birdie. Kind of hurt a little bit more. Two stroke swing. Matteo cleaning up. Mm hmm. Clip and Matteo. So, do you think Albert now is just like, now he's got like a deep breath? You know, he, he started with a bogey, but now follows it up with three birdies. Yeah. I'd the closest say guy just took a bogey. Now he's in rhythm. You know, now he's just on autopilot. I think so, yeah. It definitely settles the nerves a lot when you kind of get in the swing of things. Grab a turkey, that, that's hard to do anywhere on this course. So mm -hmm. you can definitely gain some confidence yeah. seeing that. Yeah, one birdie, one bogey, two pars. Pretty typical for that hole. This thing has been amazing. Uh, the plastic, the flight, everything is, is, is just amazing. You can really manipulate the angles on this thing. It's, it's, it's a felon, but it, it does things that felons really aren't supposed to do, and that's why I love it. All right, and we're back. Uh, here we have hole five, one of the tricky holes in the course. Kevin, break it down for us. Five is a par three, 415 feet, um, but it's incredibly te technical you have to throw a power shot straight down and it's extremely treacherous any early kick pretty much guarantees a bogey and it's not an easy it's not an easy birdie either even if you get all the way down there there are some late trees that just don't really allow you to access the green yeah for sure these guys are going to be throwing probably fairway driver distance driver um, exactly like this going straight down and getting a little bit of skips. Dang, that not really not that much ground play. No, um, not I feel too like much. that was a great shot. You, he did everything right, and it just didn't. It, that's part of this. That's yeah. part of the game. Yeah. You know? That happens sometimes. Gavin uh, going sidearm. Yeah, going the sidearm. I think trying to just keep it down that tunnel um, doesn't quite get the disc to flip up what, the way he needs to. Um, but he didn't penetrate too deep. I hope. Oh, and Maddie. Maddie. Medio also just turning it over. Mm. That scrambling on the right side is better than the left for sure, but it's still super incredibly difficult. Yeah, definitely. The trees there are just really, really dense and lots of thin little twigs. And Hey, Russ. Yeah. Hold it a little bit. Yeah, this lead card not quite hitting it the way they want to. It does shape up kind of difficult for this backhand drive. And Alex... Just super dense forest right here just jail he got out there a little bit he'll have a he'll have something from there yeah i won't be able to probably save his par but got out of the woods at least yep. yeah you can see all these tiny little trees around make it really difficult even just to swing your arm oh, Gavin. yeah and he, oh, he only did. made it maybe 20 feet but yeah. has a little bit open more open of a gap now Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. He's looking at it. Yeah, very good. 25 feet. Hit that nice window. Matty O. Oh, it looks like he's got a gap. Looks like he fought all the way through. Mm hmm. Yeah, he's going through that same gap, I believe, that Gavin just threw through. Yep. Pretty open. Just try to chuck a putter up there. It looks great. Oh, yeah. Perfect shot. Text he work. has such good control with those putter shots. Keeps the nose up, but that's just that's his style. Yeah. And we still haven't gotten to Albert's drive yet. Yeah. So even though it didn't get the skips that we wanted, he's probably still looking at it. 
Here mm-hmm. we go, 60 feet. Just inside circle two. He's got a window too. Let's see if we can get some bazooka action. Oh, puts it up there on the right line, just a little bit too high. But that should be pretty easy par save. Gavin cleaning up. Yeah, pretty typical bogey, I would say, from the, that rough. Like you said earlier on, it's as soon as you get one of those early kicks or um, early shots into the woods, it's really hard to scramble. Albert cleaning up his par. That, that's not an easy putt. No, not at all. Yep. Definitely left a little meat on the bone, but cleans it up well. Yeah, Alec cleaning up, and then we just have Maddie left with the tap in after his nice approach. Yeah. That clean form. Look at the sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, very cool. All right. Albert's at 13 down. Alex Russell falls back to eight. Gavin falls back to eight. Maddie O right there at seven. Albert with a five-stroke lead. Yeah, on yeah. The lead I mean, card here. he did work early uh, there during round one. He's gained another stroke on this card. Uh, really, just kind of in cruise control right now. Yeah. Hole six, par four, 550 feet onto an island. So you, your first drive needs to land right around here, and then you can get aggressive and go for this island, or you can pitch up to the front of the rocks and try to make like a 45-footer. Yep. Yeah, that's the play on this hole. Um, Really depends on how good of a drive you get to be how aggressive you want on your second shot. Um, I'm interested to see what the play is for, for these guys. This looks great. He's peered it. Wow. Hitting the biggest part of the fairway, yeah, skipping that, way up there. That's unreal. Yeah. Yeah, to get up onto this grass is amazing. That's where you see sometimes people lay up their second shots too. The, my only concern is that he's so far up the hill and left that he might be pinched to t attack the island. That's true. Yeah. He will have to be careful of that. My, uh, Matteo. Uh, he caught the sunglasses, but it looks like he got a little bit of a kick there at the end of his flight. Gavin. This is left. Uh, probably a good kick. We'll have yeah. a sidearm up probably to the face of it. Mm -hmm. Depends on how aggressive he wants to get. Alex Russell here. Oh yeah. Smooth. Yes. It needs to hold it needs to hold left. Oh mm. didn't quite. But kicks down to the middle, doesn't kick off to the rough at all, so he'll have probably a forehand up to in front of the little rock Kobe. Oh and Matty had in a really tough position, didn't realize how bad that kick really was. And he only manages to get maybe another 60 feet off his second shot. Gavin wisely just kind of laying up to the top of the hill there. Mm hmm. Smart play. Oh no, Matty O. That forehand was just pulled over too hard and he goes straight out of bounds up on top of the road. Oh goodness. That's a terrible mistake to make at this time. Wow, that was the skinny gap, and he's yeah. up there. He's looking at it. He'll probably have a jump putt, definitely jump putt to the green, and uh, interesting to see if he gets aggressive with it. Albert, only 132 feet from the pin, has the sidearm route. This, oh, to, oh, no. Stay in bounds. Yeah, I think it did. Yeah, stay in bounds. I think he was actually going for the layup play regardless there. Okay. That is not normal. You, <laughs> the hole is usually played the route that Gavin's going right now. You throw a pitch up and then you go a hyzer attack in. So it's incredible to see that Albert got way up there down to the left. Yeah. To go around it on the left. That's incredible. Stay in bounds. Oh, great man. run. Stays in bounds. We'll be able to tap out. Yeah, for sure. And Alex here, uh, 87 feet from the basket. See if he gives this one a bid. Oh, he does. Yeah, really impressive shot there. And Albert, again, for birdie now. From around 
40 feet. Mm. Not quite giving it that little pop from the legs that he needed, but I mean, still a par on this hole is great. This was the second hardest hole on the day. Um, played half stroke over par, so really a tricky hole. Mm -hmm. um, just even getting this par can be difficult if you hit early and have to leave your approach to try to land on the island. It can be it can be definitely tricky. Let's watch this smooth form from Albert here. Yeah, it gets really good upper body rotation. Extremely well done there. Very good commitment to that shot. Matteo with the double bogey, bringing his round back to even. Yeah, that's going to be unfortunate for him, but hopefully he can climb back up there. Hole seven, a par, our first par five of the round, 950 feet. Players are looking to just throw a hyzer down to the bottom of this hill, and then again throw a hyzer up to around 100 feet to the right of this gap, or again, as close as you can get to this gap, and then just kind of like a mid-range or a putter into this gap. The biggest thing is just get it down, and then your second shot, don't pinch off the, uh, the gap. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Uh, oh, oh, what a great kick. Yeah, definitely fortunate there to stay out of the woods. Really, you can get a pretty simple birdie on this hole as long as you stay in the middle of the fairway. This is leaking right. Okay, kind of finds that little opening uh, past hole 10's basket. He will, he will likely have another forehand or something from there. I like this from Alex. He's keeping it low. He's keeping it driven on that right side. Probably going to skip back over to the left. Yeah. And right. that's that's perfect. Right out of his hand. It didn't have a chance to go in the woods on the right, and it was drifting left the whole time. He's going to have a nice hyzer attack in from there. Matty O, same thing. Mm -hmm. Yep. Really, really nice shot. I think the height control on these downhill holes is is really key. Right. Interesting to see what Albert's going to do from here. He, he's he got a bit of distance. See if he goes across. Wow. That's got to that's gotta turn. It is. It is turning, Kev. Now is this going to stop before the edge? Oh, mm. no. So he's, he's going to be pinched there, but it doesn't look like it's... Yeah, so he, he'll be able to throw maybe a, a forehand roller up into the gap and give himself a long look. But just to be able to have a, a look at birdie is incredible from there. Is incredible. He probably there. threw that second shot around 600 feet. Yeah. I had to guess. Gavin putting himself in position to attack the green on his third shot. Matteo looking to play like a nice shot, flipping it up. Oh, yeah. In the wow. gap. This is perfect. Not, didn't, didn't cut himself off. We'll have have like a 75 footer 80 footer to the to the basket from there mm -hmm. hey russ i like him, him keeping this in the middle he knows that he probably won't reach the gap from that position but keeps it off that uh left side to make sure that he has a position to attack the green albert with the pioneer big Sidearm turnover wow. into the gap. Okay, and that that's a look. That's, that's a, look a look from there. Ooh, maybe. Oh no, he. It's fine. Just outside C one. Yeah, yeah. Threw a really overstable disc there and flexed out. Just caught a little bit of uh, those branches coming into the green. A Russ with just a turnover putter. Yeah, nice touch there, just giving a little bit of snap. Matty O, 99 feet from the pin. Looking at Eagle here. Oh, he gives a little bit of a run there, but, I mean, he's parked for birdie. Yeah, that's still he a very he played well played. It per he played the hole perfectly. And Albert just playing for par. I mean, I mean after after that initial drive to be able to get up and down and save par i mean he can't be can't be too upset no i don't think so he knows he's playing with a quite a lead right now too gavin just a little bit high on the stepper maybe a little over committed but that's better to see than under committed 
A Russ. Clean up the birdie. Yeah, and also wanted to shout out on this hole. Uh, they had one eagle on the day, Aaron Gossage, absolutely parking it from 16 feet, putting for eagle. The man rips. He does. That was he so does. far. I got to play a practice round with him, and I mean, that's incredible. Mm -hmm. Getting a three in this hole is, it's not easy. We saw Matty O just a second ago throw two great drives, and he was 99 feet away. So shout out to Aaron Gossage. For sure. Big shout out. Very nice putt there from Alex. Clean spin the whole way. Really good extension as well. Love watching it. Albert just kind of in uh, autopilot. Yeah, yeah. Making a good scramble there after that drive. Uh, still has a good lead on the card. And here we are on hole number eight. This is a really difficult gap off the tee. All you really want to do is hit it and get out to somewhere on this fairway. Um, mid-range or fairway driver or even distance driver is a play off the tee whatever you kind of feel comfortable hitting that gap with uh, you'll be left with this approach you have this little casual relief area with those flags and then the basket perched up on the other side of this creek a russ up first yeah, yeah that great. looks great Pulling it on that right side a little bit, but that gives it the room to swing back left, which will open up the position for uh, his approach. Yeah, you really just want to get down and off to the left here. Don't hit anything early. Matteo, that's going to be trouble. Yeah, just pulling it a little bit wide and kicking left. There is that OB creek um, down below that it looks like he was a little bit concerned about. Oh. Mm -hmm. Albert also hitting early and kicking to the right. Gives a green flag though. Should hopefully have a scramble play from there. Yeah, oh, this yeah. is launched. Yeah, great committed shot there, ripping it through the gap. That looks to be real good. Oh, oh and Matteo. No way. Oh, I wonder what the group determines this call as. But Matteo finding that little creek, and the rule on this hole is surrounded by water. So it looks like he might have been out of bounds. And he's not even in a great position either. No, he has to just throw a little chip forehand around the corner, and he'll still have uh, some work to do from there. Yeah. Wow, oh, and Albert... Giving it enough room to actually go for the pin. No way. Oh, oh my gosh. To be a, wow, he hit an early tree, kicked forward right, and that's like a 450 foot up, no, not uphill, but like that's, you have to have 450 feet of power yeah, to yes. get to that green. That is, That's wow. the most impressive shot I think I've seen this round. That, that is, it, it's just such an incline. Mm-hmm. And he went, yeah, he went, Heiser. <laughs> he went all Heiser forehand. Oh my gosh. Got to go scrambling here. Oh, oh no. you got to push that ceiling to try to get um, into that little gauntlet for the basket, but he catches some of it and it shoots him down. This looks good from Gavin if he can stay up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Gavin, I mean, to get all the way down there on your drive, he made this hole look quite easy. Yeah, I think just throwing an approach disc into the green, really, really amazing drive. Hmm. Matty not liking that. He's going to have to settle for a bogey, I believe. Maybe double, depending on whether that was OB off the tee. Oh. Yeah, and there you can kind of just see Alex didn't really commit to that putt. He kind of just gave it a little stab with his arm. Didn't really follow through, and he left that bit short. Okay, so yeah, just a single bogey for Matty. Um, so I'm guessing that they ruled it inbounds um, off that drive. And Albert, after this amazing second shot. Wow. What a birdie to pick up. Just unreal. Albert's kind of pulling away. 
Yeah, he is. If he's pulling off shots like that, it's going to be hard to catch him. Gavin making a great birdie, though. Just look at how clean this drive was. Yeah. I mean, center cut. Mm -hmm. That is incredible. Lined up and pulled through exactly on the line to the gap. Really, really well done there. So Albert, three downs for the round. Alex Russell taking par there. Yeah, yeah, taking a par, losing a stroke to Albert. But hole nine is a really easy hole to kind of gain another stroke. Uh, we have par three, 295 feet. Really, a forehand is going to be the best play for this hole. Uh, you can see backhand turnover working as well. And it's just kind of miss these few trees at the end and then hopefully have uh, inside circle putt for the bird. It's a very fast green. It is. Yeah, you'll see Albert here going to his justice. Really overstable disc. Just going to try to hit it flat and let it fade down to the green. Mm. Dang. Not the... Uh... The, the ground action you expect? No, definitely not. Yeah. Okay. Hits a little bit higher on that hill. Doesn't quite get that filter. This looks to be a bit better. <laughs> and hits a tree. Yeah. Just inside circle one there. Alex Russell, this is kind of his bread and butter. Mm hmm Yeah, swinging that nice in there. Oh. Pushing the fairway and then... Perfect. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Wow. Right inside bullseye. Has a great shot. Matteo looking to get back on track. That's inside. Mm, sneaking through. Oh, the, oh my, my gosh. Goodness. Wow. Yeah, using that fast disc there. I believe that was an enforcer and skips up into the cage. Matteo, I'm sorry that I questioned you. <laughs> that was a great shot. Veteran knows the veteran plays. Oh, you yeah. think Albert runs this? Ah, oh, he actually got pretty close. I'm going to say he gives it a bid. He doesn't. Smart, I mean, smart play. He's yeah. he's got some strokes to play with here and Definitely. And this this green really does slope away, so if he missed that putt, it could definitely travel. Wow. Really nice strike there from Gavin. Good birdie to pick up. It's a great birdie. Matteo, after hitting the bottom of the cage off of the drive. Yeah. Pretty uh, easy birdie. Uh-huh. And Alex Russell as well. Just an amazing drive and cleaning it up. Yes, the whole card getting a stroke back on Albert. Um, not that Albert's hurting too bad, but yeah, really good to see from the card getting the, the three birdies. Yeah, what a dagger. Look at Great the gallery, part. too. That's, that's mm -hmm. really cool to see. Yeah, definitely getting exciting for the gallery to watch. Action is heating up. Uh, yeah, there we go. We have Albert at 14, two guys at 10, and then Matteo kind of breaking down at 6. Um, that will lead it off for our front nine coverage. Make sure to join us on the back nine.